In our previous video, you learned about how to use different intraday trading strategies to find the right entry and exit points. But that's not enough. You have to be double sure before you enter or exit a trade and for extra confirmation, we can use technical indicators. Hello everybody, I am Vaishnavi and welcome to Allies Blue Online. In this video, let's learn how to use the best indicators for intraday trading to make the most of your trades by entering and exiting at the right time. Remember, if you are new to intraday trading and have questions like what is intraday trading, is it suitable for you or not, which strategy to use etc, you can refer to our previous videos which are linked in the description box below. Coming to this video, let's start with understanding what is an indicator. An indicator is a mathematical calculation that is mostly based on the historic periods and volume. It helps in predicting the future price of the stock, identifying entry and exit points, etc. Some of the best technical indicators for intraday trading are volume, moving averages, RSI that is relative strength index, combination of moving averages and RSI, and Bollinger Bands. The first indicator is volume. Volume is the total quantity of shares bought and sold at a particular time. Volume is a great tool that can be used to weigh the intensity of a trend breakout, gaps, etc. and eventually be used as an indicator of confirmation. Volume can also be used to determine the liquidity of a particular stock. Considering the trading strategies you have learned in the previous video, let's understand how volume complements these strategies and acts as an indicator of confirmation. Volume in Common Gaps as you have already learned, common gaps usually occur due to small market events and will be eventually filled during the day. Refer to this image. You can see that there is a huge buying volume on the gap up candle but the next consecutive candles have selling volume, hence indicating that the gap will be eventually filled during the day. As anticipated at around 12pm, the stock price reached its previous day close and filled the gap. Volume in Running Gaps Running gaps occur in the ongoing trend. You can see in the image that the stock is already in uptrend and yet a gap up occurs with a bullish candle indicating a running gap up. A huge spike in the volume adds an extra pinch of confirmation. The next one is volume in reversal strategy. A huge fall or rise in the trending stock indicates a reversal. In this image, you can see the trend reverses by forming a big bearish candle. Also, there is a huge spike in the volume which confirms that there is a legit reversal. And eventually, when the trend reversal, the stock starts moving downwards ever since. This is one of the best volume indicator for intraday trading. Another indicator is moving. Average indicator for intraday moving averages help you determine the trend of the stock and also give you clear signs of a trend reversal. It is easily one of the best trend indicators for intraday. Refer to the image to understand how moving averages work. In this image, as you can see, the stock is moving right above the moving average line. This indicates it is an upward trend. As it breaks the line and starts moving below the moving average line, it indicates that the trend has reversed and the downward trend has started. This is one of the most widely used intraday trading indicators. Moving on to RSI that is Relative Strength Index. It is the best momentum indicator for intraday trading. It shows you the overbought and oversold zones of a stock. RSI has two lines, one is 80 and the other is 20. When the RSI is above 80, the stock is said to be in the overbought zone, indicating to sell. And when the RSI is below 20, the stock is said to be in the oversold zone, indicating to buy. Once the stock reaches the overbought zone, you need to short the stock and if the stock reaches the oversold zone, you need to buy the stock. It is one of the most widely used intraday trading indicators. The next one is combination of moving averages and RSI. Let's understand how to use it with an example. As you can see in this image, at a certain point, the stock is in an upward trend and it is moving right above the moving average line. Once the stock reaches the peak of an uptrend and reverses by breaking below the moving average line, you can see the RSI is also reversing from the overbought zones. Hence, a double confirmation that the stock is in the overbought zone and will eventually fall. So you have to start selling the stock. The next one is Bollinger Bands. It is one of the most widely used intraday trading indicators. Bollinger Band consists of three lines, upper limit, lower limit and a moving average. These lines represent the standard deviation of the stock. In simple words, the Bollinger Band looks like a cloud and the stock is supposed to trade within this cloud. If the stock moves out of the upper limit line, it indicates that the stock prices may fall in the future. So that means that you should short sell. 
and if the stock moves out of the lower limit line it indicates that the stock prices may rise in the future indicating a buy signal well that is how intraday indicators are used thank you so much for watching i hope that the video has given you a brief idea about intraday and its indicators for more such informative videos make sure that you subscribe to alize through online this is vaishnavi signing off i will see you in the next video Investment in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.